So, volume three of the Looney Tunes Golden Collection. Now, I love it when DVDs do this. After all, I am the DVD king. Um, when the, they have like images stick out and you can like touch it with your finger and it feels really cool looking. Uh, I love how the Looney Tunes logo is in like pure gold. After all, it is the Golden Collection. Uh, more Bugs Bunny. The, uh, the second disc is Hollywood Caricatures, which means that Warner Brothers did a lot of cartoons back in the 40s and the 30s where they actually would have animals portray famous celebrities and uh, it, they were really funny at it. And I, I noticed that Bugs Bunny does a, a, a Groucho Marx uh, impersonation a lot. He does it in like a whole bunch of cartoons. And if you ever watch a Marx Brothers movie, Bugs actually acts a lot like Groucho, so it's like Bugs and Groucho are like the same, kind of. These are mixed. Uh, I remember watching some of these back in the day when they used to air on Toon Heads on um, Cartoon Network in the early 2000s. Um, oh, th this is like a cool little uh, pamphlet that I kept that I came with where they were uh, showing off these new collectible figures. They're based off of the classic, some of the classic cartoons. Like that's Daffy as the Scarlet Pumpernickel. This is from What's Opera Doc. Disc four, All-Star Cartoon Party is a bunch of random cartoons. This one's pretty funny. It's, it's I think it's called Daffy Gets Drafted, where it's it was made in the 1940s and it's like this guy is trying to get Daffy. He's telling Daffy he's drafted to the army and he keeps running away from him. That's pretty funny, because that was very relatable to the people uh, at the time. Disc 3 has a lot of Porky cartoons, and this is when they started uh, releasing some of the really early Porky cartoons, where his design was, he was like a little, he was like a little fatter. By the way, um, all you tune heads will know this, but uh, when it comes to the Looney Tunes, the very first Looney Tune was actually Porky Pig, then Daffy, then Bugs Bunny, and Elmer. But the original was Porky Pig, by the way, just in case you know. But once Bugs got big, then Porky Pig got sidelined, and Bugs became the star. But the original was actually Porky. I love Porky Pig. Yeah, you can see that even by Volume 3, there's still a whole bunch of uh, unreleased Wild E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons, because uh, by the time the dust settled, uh, uh, Warner Brothers was making Looney Tunes cartoons from uh, the late 30s all the way till 1967, I think. 669, I think, is when they stopped their production on, an on traditional animation. Well, not traditional animation, but the original line. By the time that dust settled, there were like over a thousand cartoons that they created. And I did the math, and when you do the math, there's actually a shit ton of unreleased Looney Tunes cartoons that they didn't release. Uh, they never released ever on DVD. And I do believe a whole bunch of those probably don't have, don't feature the Looney Tunes. They may be the older ones before the Looney Tunes were created. However, uh, there are tons of them that are actually do have the Looney Tunes in them. So now they get to volume four. And by the way, uh, I'd like to point this out as well, is that uh, by the time, uh, at the time that they were releasing all these in order, I did not buy them when they originally came out because they were too expensive. Um, but now they've, they've went down in price significantly, so now's the time to get them. Look at this cover with the rainbow. Really, really awesome. Pretty cool. Um, so, I love the gold uh, uh, the look on this set. The disc is Bugs Bunny once again. Bugs Bunny's so good that no matter how many ones you see from the uh, earlier Golden Collections, uh, it just, it doesn't stop getting uh, just as great. It really is just still amazing. Disc two, A Dash of Tashlin. So there were a lot of, uh, there was a couple of famous animators for Looney Tunes, and there was a lot of them. But uh, the biggest names are really Bob Clampett, Chuck Jones, Tex Avery. And the, the three of them are talked about a lot. And then there's two others that are underrated. And I, f I forget the name of the other one, but I'm sure he'll be listed. Uh, Tashlin was one of those underrated 
animators for the Looney Tunes. And uh, this disc honors him, honors his cartoons that he created, which are similar in style, kind of, to Bob Clampett's. And Bob Clampett's my favorite, by the way. Um, he was the man that uh, claimed he created Bugs Bunny, but uh, that's debatable. A Dash of Tashlin, these are really good cartoons. And in some ways, they made better cartoons than like Chuck Jones and stuff like that. And uh, what I really liked about Tashlin and Bob Clampett is that they made more risky cartoons with the Looney Tunes. They weren't super strict with their formula like Chuck Jones was. And I like the Chuck Jones' cartoons, but sometimes sometimes you do a little too much of the same thing and it gets, it gets a little dry. Disc 3 is Speedy Gonzalez in a Flash. These are a lot of classic Speedy Gonzalez cartoons. And uh, what I have to say is that I really like Speedy Gonzalez. He's a really cool character. I don't think he's a racist character. And I think he's a classic uh, superstar. And uh, he was a hero in the cartoons who always rescued the cheese. And uh, he took on uh, the bad guys. And uh, one of his rivals was Sylvester the Cat. So a lot of people don't actually know this, but aside from Sylvester, Daffy Duck was actually rivals with Speedy Gonzalez in a lot of cartoons. But they're extremely rare and they happen l later on. They're, they're like incredibly rare. Um, also, there was a lot of cartoons that paired Bugs Bunny against Wild E. Coyote. That was really amazing because in those cartoons were the only ones where Wiley actually talked. And it was really, really awesome. And I actually grew up watching those on Cartoon Network back in the early 2000s. Those are also extremely rare. I think Warner Brothers released a bunch of them on YouTube in like a compilation video because those cartoons with Bugs versus Wiley, they never released any of them on DVD, ever. They only released one of them. And I think it's on uh, volume three that I forgot to mention, but it's only one single episode. They never released any of the other ones. But for some strange reason, you'll find them on reruns on Boomerang. And the same thing goes with Daffy vs. Speedy. But the Daffy vs. Speedy cartoons and the Bugs vs. Wily cartoons have never been released on DVD. There's a, there's a DVD over here that I'm going to show you later where there actually was like two... This disc three is completely dedicated to Speedy Gonzales. And uh, you can get all your Speedy action there. Uh, it's really cool how uh, every cartoon on the disc is a Speedy Gonzales cartoon. One of the original cartoon heroes of the 1940s. This is, this is something else here I also love. When you take the discs out, you can see silhouettes of all the characters. And it's really, really pretty bitchin'. I just thought that that was pretty neat. Just a, a neat thing you could notice. That they put effort into the design of the DVD case. To give reverence to the uh, Golden Age uh, cartoon heroes.